the weirdest things happen in the four walls of a hospital. Every day, we hear stories of mysterious items found in human beings, and there are cases of normal pregnancies that suddenly become strange. Then of course on the flip side, tons of rather scary things also happen in hospitals. Various diseases, injuries, etc. can cause the human body to react in all kinds of frightening ways. This story is definitely a perfect example of something weird, but extremely frightening. Especially if you're the one having to experience it all. Leanne Crawley is a 38-year-old mother from England who delivered her son Louis in December 2016. Louis was her fourth child and her first son. It was an exciting period for her and it felt like everything was going perfectly fine until the doctors broke some news. Very few things are worse than bad news having to be shared about your pregnancy while you're still pregnant with your baby. Before the delivery, all of Louis' prenatal scans looked normal. Nothing looked like it could go wrong. But when the baby was born, he appeared gray and lifeless. Typically babies are rather lively when first being born, it's always a good thing if a baby is crying because it signifies that the baby is full of life and able to breathe properly. At delivery, the baby had lost 80% of his blood, and most of his organs were on the verge of shutting down. To make sure the baby was okay, the doctors kept him in the hospital. He was hooked up to life support and placed in both a cooling machine and an incubator. Things definitely didn't appear to be starting off on the right foot for poor Louis' first experience in the outside world. After a few weeks, little Louis was finally discharged. It seemed like everything was okay until Leanne began bleeding and it led to heavy blood loss. Surgery was immediately booked and the doctor set to work instantly. They operated on her to remove what was left of what they thought to be the leftover placenta. Instead, the doctors found something entirely different. It appeared that there was a second infant in Leanne's womb. This meant that baby Louis had actually been hiding behind a second pregnancy in the womb of the mother, Leanne. It is surprising that the doctors never noticed this second pregnancy. How often do you really hear about doctors simply missing the fact that another baby was also awaiting delivery? You'd like to hope that it doesn't occur very often at all. All you could see on the scan was Louis and it all looked normal, Leanne said in an interview with SWNS. It turned out Louis had been hiding it all along, protecting me. What exactly was the twin? It turned out that the twin was an unviable molar pregnancy, which the doctor successfully removed. But something more came with the molar. The abnormal growth in her womb caused her to develop a rare form of cancer which is known as a choriocarcinoma. The cancer began spreading fast, and it soon reached Leanne's lungs. This caused her to spend weeks in the hospital, and she had to go through five intense months of chemotherapy, and a total of 20 blood transfusions. Talk about literally having to fight for your life, no one should have to go through the type of battle. For three different periods, she almost passed away. As odd as it sounds, Louise twin very nearly got both of us both, Leanne said. I was basically pregnant with my tumor. The twin caused the cancer, and the cancer nearly consumed us both. After the removal of the molar pregnancy, the doctors asked the mother if she wanted to have a funeral for the twin. Today, Louis has grown into a happy baby. Unfortunately, he suffered a hearing loss and mild brain damage. With steady love from her family, Leanne began to recover slowly. After that whole ordeal, it's no surprise that her body needed all the time it could get in order to properly recover. I wouldn't wish the experience on anyone, but obviously I would take it all again if it was a choice between me and Louis. Today, Leanne is cancer-free, and her infant son has shocked the world with their survival story. Isn't this a wonderful story? It deserves to be shared a million times over.